Hi everyone, my name is Carlos and today I will walk you through setting up Microsoft 365. Whether you are a small business owner or an IT professional, I hope this guy will help you understand the Microsoft 365 subscription and how to get started. The main reason to create this video is because I have seen so many people during many years working on Microsoft 365 deployment trying to set up the service, but they have found some obstacles that prevent them from using it. So let's dive in. First thing first, Microsoft 365 is a subscription service that offers a range of powerful tools and services to enhance your productivity. Let's take a quick look at what's included. With Microsoft 365, you get an email service with your own domain name, cloud storage through OneDrive and SharePoint, Office apps like Word, Excel and PowerPoint, collaboration tools such as Microsoft Teams, and many other tools like Forms, Bookings, Planner and Visio. All this comes with security features to protect your data. It is everything you need to streamline your work and stay connected. Now, let's talk about how to purchase a Microsoft 365 subscription. Head over the Microsoft 365 website and browse through the different plans or licenses available. Choose the one that best fits your needs. For most small businesses, the business standard plan is a great choice. By the way, with Microsoft 365, you can mix different types of licenses and assign them to various users on your team. Once you have selected your plan, click on Buy Now and follow the prompts to enter your payment information. You will need to provide your billing details and confirm the purchase. You can also select the option Try Free for one month. Your credit card won't be charged until the end of the free month. To ensure a successfully Microsoft 365 setup, here in the description I have a link to my mini course with all the necessary steps and details that you can follow to complete the process. From purchasing the first licenses to creating the first users with your own domain name. With your subscription purchased, it is time to set everything up. The process will guide you through creating the admin user and accessing the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. This is your hub for managing your subscription. Here, you can connect and verify your domain name, create user accounts, and assign licenses. In the future, within the billing section, you can purchase new licenses and renew or cancel them. This admin user is very important. This account will have the highest level of access. So make sure you choose a strong password and enable two-factor authentication for added security. With the admin user, you can create all the admin users as well. If you have additional domain names, you can connect them to personalize and create all your email addresses for your business. This can be done within the settings sections and then domains. Within the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, the admin will find various panels to manage your email service based on Exchange Online, security with Microsoft Defender, and user identity in the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Next, you will manage users. You will create user accounts for your team members and assign them licenses. You will go to Users, then Active Users, and click Add User. Fill in the details and assign the appropriate license. Here, the admin will also be able to reset passwords, reassign licenses, rename and delete users. Once users are set up, they will receive their login information via email. Here's what they will need to do next. Users can log in to their account via portal.office.com from their preferred browser. They will find some of their apps, the most common one, on the left part of the screen, and all the apps within the apps icon. They can access their email account using Outlook Online and their cloud storage through OneDrive and SharePoint. It is a seamless way to manage their files and communications. Users can also configure their email account in Outlook Desktop and Outlook Mobile on their devices. They just need to add a new email account on their email app and select Microsoft Exchange. The configuration should happen automatically after they are prompted to enter their username and mean the email address and their password. 
They can also download and install the Office apps, like a Word, Excel, and PowerPoint on their devices. Just go to the Office 365 portal and click on Install Office or Install and More. And don't forget about Microsoft Teams. It is a fantastic tool for communication and collaboration. Users can access Teams directly from the Office 365 portal or download and install the Teams app. With Microsoft Teams, users can access chats, video meetings, calendars, and share their work with their Office apps. And there you have it. After following this process, you will have successfully set up Microsoft 365 subscription. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials. If you have any questions or need further assistance, drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Remember, stay secure, stay tech savvy.